A tiger at the Brock Zoo was the first animal to test positive for COVID-19 in the United States. This video behind me shows right there. This is Nadia, a very healthy cub early on, but tonight, Aid on your side investigates a simple question. Can you infect your pets with COVID-19 and vice versa? Aid on your side investigative reporter Masa Saidi is live in the newsroom tonight. So what about it, Masa? So, Keith, right now there's an investigation into that New York City case, but it's believed that this tiger contracted COVID-19 from a zookeeper. Now, this was pretty surprising news right after it broke. We know a lot of you had many concerns about your pets. At the outset, it was disbelief that it really was COVID. Tonight at zoos across the country, new protocols after a New York City tiger contracted COVID-19. Some zookeepers now wearing masks when they're close to the animals. So does that mean you have to cover Fido's snout? A lot of viruses uh, in, say, dogs do not get into humans and vice versa. Other viruses in dogs, cats can get into humans. Dr. John Green is the chief of infectious diseases at Moffitt. He says so far in the U.S., there's been no reports of pets getting sick with COVID-19. First question, can you get this virus from your pets? And I think we're still learning about this virus, about what is the role pets are going to play. Experts say while some coronaviruses that infect animals can be spread to you, at this time, there's no evidence that your dog or cat can give you COVID-19. <laughs> but what about you infecting your precious furry friend? Staying six feet away from your pet is hard to do. They want to come be close to you and snuggle up and things like that. I don't think you have to totally separate from your pets. There's one major exception. Outside the U.S., there's been a few reports of pets getting COVID-19 after close contact with their sick owners. So tonight, if you're sick, you should limit contact with all animals, including your dogs and cats. And more studies need to be done to see how COVID-19 impacts different animals. But Keith, here's what we do know tonight. This virus is primarily being transmitted between people. So stay at home and follow those social guidelines. And, you know, you know a lot of people put things up on social media. And we've seen people actually covering the, the paws of their pet. Yeah. Can dogs pick up this virus on walks? So it doesn't hurt to wipe down their paws, but right now the CDC says that there's no evidence that this can be transmitted from their skin and fur to people. Right. Ma Society, live in the Tampa Newsroom. Thank you.